but what's up, Ultramag64 here. And don't light those fireworks just yet. It's time for another vlog. Alrighty, so last month's vlog was quite positive, and this one's gonna be about the same. We did get to play a few games that I actually wanted to play, such as uh, Dangerous Golf, which was not as good as I had hoped, sadly, but it was still a fun experience nonetheless, and one that I did enjoy for what it was. I just kind of wish it was a little bit better than uh, what we had gotten. Uh, speaking of disappointments, Mighty Number no. 9 also was a bit of a disappointment uh, by all, which uh, was, again, kind of something I was... I was kind of looking forward to Mighty Number no. 9, to be honest, because I was like, huh, Mighty Number no. 9, this... It's a, it's a Mega Man game. I'm not that good at the old uh, 2D side-scrolling Mega Mans. I preferred Legends, to be honest, just because that was... The, uh, the, the defining thing where I was like, this is awesome, I love Mega Man! And then went back and played the, the other Mega Man games, because I had never been really that interested in the series. Regardless, uh, Mighty No. 9 didn't exactly, uh, match up with what people wanted, and it, it, it didn't have the, the get-up-and-go that everyone thought it would. Which is kind of disappointing, because I... I mean, I didn't have, like, the, the biggest hype for Mighty No. 9. I wasn't even, like, that, like, Oh my gosh, I can't wait to play it! But I was like, huh, you know what? I, I mean, I wouldn't mind playing this. It looks f fun enough, you know? Maybe maybe I'll finally get good at Mega Man-style games. But it turned out that Mighty No. 9 just wasn't exactly... It didn't hit the mark. Which, again, pity. But what did happen is uh, a whole lot of things happened to my channel. We finally finished Hyper Light Drifter, which was a wonderful experience. That was f so much fun. Just so much fun. It was kind of a Dark Souls-esque experience, which was good because then I also started playing Dark Souls, I think, around June. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I started playing it in June or, like, the tail end of, uh, of May. I'm not, not entirely sure on that one. But, uh, I, I did have fun with Hyperlight nonetheless. Um, we also did a bit of uh, Oxen Free. We returned to uh, Edwards Island and did New Game Plus mode because they released that, and that was another fun experience. I really can't stress how much I enjoy Oxen Free. It's such such a fun game to play. Um, another thing that we actually did, something that I tried new, and that made no sense, but <laughs> we're rolling with it. I don't care. Um, but one thing that I did try this month, last month, was, um, I tried talking about E3. Now, normally I don't uh, talk that much about the games industry. I enjoy looking at it, and I, I do follow it uh, religiously because it's just who I am. It's what I enjoy to do. I love games, and I love learning and, and, and doing the whole, whole games industry thing. Always wanted to do a podcast about it, uh... Just, just haven't had the bros to, to do it with. Um, maybe one day, maybe one day we'll, we'll get all together and, and decide, hey, guess what, we're doing a podcast. It's going to be cool, it's going to be epic, it's going to be all kinds of awesome. Maybe. Hopefully. If it can ever happen. But we did. This, I did decide to do... I don't know why I keep saying we all the time when I'm referring to myself. <laughs> when we're referring to the channel, it's fine. <laughs> I see I did it again. Whatever. I'm just... I'm, I'm going insane. <laughs> it's fine. But anyway, I did try and uh, talk about E3, which you guys did seem to like. You especially liked, go figure, the Nintendo stuff, which, oh, gee willikers, if only Nintendo would allow me to play their games without taking a shot to my wallet. But regardless, um, you guys really did enjoy, at least nonetheless, watching me play Splatoon while I talked about Nintendo stuff. So, there's that. Um... We also decided to uh, play the uh, Ambient Prologue beta, which Ambient Prologue has been a fan game, or, well, not, a, not really a fan game, I'm not sure, I guess it is kind of its own thing, except it's in a weird kind of, it's in this weird purgatory type situation where it's like, it's not a fan game, but it, it's, it's like they haven't said that it's going to be its own thing. I'm not sure where to throw this thing on the wheel of fortune here. I'm going to go with it's its own thing, and they just, they, they, I guess they haven't acknowledged it or something? I'm not sure. Because it's like, part of me feels like we have to, at least from, from what we've gotten. Granted, we haven't played the full game, um, or anything like that, and, and I'm, I'm excited to play the full game. 
But story-wise, I'm not sure what the heck's going on. Unless you are into the whole My Little Pony Phantom, you're not exactly like 100% who these characters are or anything like that or what's going on. It's it's a very confusing place to be. And I'm really hoping that Ambient Prologue pulls through. I'm, I'm really, really excited for that game. And it, it's looking great. It's... It's feeling great. It's it's a it looks like it's going to be a fun game, um, and I am going to let's play it once it releases fully. Another series that we finished off was uh, Stories: of The Path of Destinies, which was another game I really really enjoyed. And um, as you can tell, today we uh, premiered Pink Amina, which uh, is a is a fan game uh, parodying. Uh, it, it's a fan parody for uh, basically a kind of a murder mystery management type game. It's it's not usually something I'd get into just because I'm never very good at managing people who live and die because everyone's going to die when Maggie at the wheel. That's just how it goes. <laughs> but uh, we, we did premiere a few other things. Um, I know we did uh, Odin Sphere Luther Seer. Basically, we kind of did everything that I had planned out for June um, during the previous vlog, pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we didn't miss anything. We got Odin Sphere, we did, uh, Dangerous Golf, we did a few other things in between. It's like a big content sandwich. We put all the good fixins on there, and we made a delicious scooby snack style sandwich. But overall, this month was pretty good. And, uh, getting back to Pink Amina, um, what you'll see... Now, is a bit of an experiment I'm trying, so I, I've always had this this kind of thing, um, process, process, when I'm, when I'm making my thumbnails, where the logo has to be in it, the, uh, there, there has to be, like, either some sort of art, something, just, just something, you know, it can't just be a logo, it's gotta be, have some dynamic thing going on with it, or, or something, it's just got, it's, it's just a rule I've always had, and, um, I've decided to try and experiment a little bit. Um, I'm not sure how far it's going to spread or um, if it'll be right for every video and every situation, but what I've decided to try and do, um, starting with Pink Amina, is I want to try and rethink my thumbnails. Um, I've looked at a lot of other YouTubers' thumbnails, and I've noticed that uh, not always do they have the, the logo. They don't always have official game art. Usually it's their face or, or something like that, which I have implemented bit by bit. Um, not exactly my real face, because I, I, don't, I don't like my real face. Um, but, you know, my, my cartoon persona face. And so what I've decided to do is just take a, a, a big piece of art and just make it a thumbnail. Um, no logo, no, no numbers telling you what number it is. Um, mainly my thought process, at least for this, is that it's going to get people curious. It's going to be like, hey, huh, this, this video, it's got this, this interesting, you know, thing, art, art thing going on. And it, it's, it's not like numbered or anything. So it's like, it won't make people feel like they're, they need to like, oh man, I got to start from the beginning to understand what's going on. That's not always the case. I mean, with some series, maybe you might want to, you might want to do that, but it's not always going to be the case, um, especially with things like roguelikes and, and other games like that, which Pink Amina kind of is a bit of a roguelike. Um, it, it's, it's kind of not really a, a story type game, I suppose. I'm, I'm not, I'm sorry if I'm, wording things wrong or weird, but it, it's not like something like Stories of Path of Destinies where it's like you kind of had to understand and watch the series from beginning to end more or less to to get what was going on, but I, I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna change my entire thumbnails all over the place. Um, I'm just gonna experiment with a few other series. I know we uh, premiered uh, Flat Kingdom as well uh, to take uh, I believe uh, Destiny's Path, or pa Path of Destiny's Place, where the heck was I going with that? I don't know. But we did, we did try, um, I am gonna try it with, with a few series. Um, obviously the Milo Pony game from Gameloft, we're seven, we're over 70 episodes in. We're not changing that. <laughs> I was thinking about it, I honestly was, I was thinking, maybe if I simplify it. Um, but I took a look at the thumbnail and it's like, really? It's, it's simple enough as is. There's really not much I could do. I mean, 
one one way I was thinking of doing it was have the uh, the the pony logo take up like half the the thumbnail size, and then have a giant vector of uh, whatever the the um uh the the main ca- the icon character I guess would would be uh what it, what it would would be called I guess the character on the icon <laughs> um, as the latest game update gets updated. Like for instance, right now it's Coco Palmel, so um. It'd just be a giant vector of Coco Palmel, and I'd change the vector out every episode. And I felt like, hmm, I'm not sure that would work, just because I'm not sure there's enough vectors of Coco Palmel to uh, justify doing that. But uh, regardless, we're going to try it, see if it works, and um, in in the reason for transparency and stuff like that is to get you guys um, to, to, you know, kind of get on my level of thinking, I suppose, or, or just... Um, Kind of, kind of keep you guys in the loop on on what my thought process is going into doing something like this. It may not work. It may, may we may just go back to the way things are, and that's fine. But I figured, you know what? Why not try something new? Why not try something different and see if it works? Worst case scenario, it doesn't work, and I go back to changing things around and try other different things. It just depends on what the heck's happening and if I can make this work or not. And maybe, maybe I need to change, you know, my, my implementation of, of it, you know? Maybe this is a good idea, but maybe I don't implement it as best I could. It's just a big old thing of me just trying new things and, and try, always trying to, to try and uh, uh, change content and make things better. Uh, sometimes it doesn't really work out, but you know what? At least we tried. So... This is July, and that means that a couple games are coming out that I plan to play. For starters, we've got Inside. Now, this is a game made by the uh, the guys who made Limbo, and it, it's definitely interesting. Very mysterious title. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a full series or or if I'm going to be doing uh, just a, just a one shot video. I'm not sure. It just depends on on how I feel about the game and how I if I like it. Um, one thing I also did want to mention was talking about episodes um, real back, uh, real quick. We're gonna go back real quick. Um, but uh, one, one thing is, I'm not gonna, I'm no longer gonna call videos episodes of things. Like for instance, there's no longer going to be an episode one, episode two, episode three, episode etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, instead, what I've decided to try and do again, this is kind of my thought process is, I don't want to scare off new viewers because I'm midway through a series. You know, my, my intention when I started doing the episodic style, air quotes, um, of Let's Play was when uh, I wanted people to, to see a, a video and be like, cool, I want to go back and watch the, the first episode and then come back to where he's current. Um, w- what I'm thinking of doing is instead labeling videos as parts instead. So that way it's like I don't have to be... It's, it's kind of a, a good and bad for... It, well, more... It's more of a mutual beneficial uh, situation for me personally because um, for you guys it's like it's not like oh man he's already on episode seven or whatever I don't want to get in on episode seven I want to you know get on on episode six but I don't want to watch episode six or whatever you know um, and usually that that's I don't know it's kind of hard for me to to explain um, just because it's like you don't necessarily have to get on the 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 train of Magnus when uh, when it it first starts. Um, not that, now granted that's, that's on a game by game basis. Some games I might just have to call episode because of if it's, if it's heavily storied and stuff like that. And it's like, I don't want people to get lost. That That's my main concern is I don't want people to get lost. I don't want people to be like, oh man, I don't know where he's going. I don't know. I've, I've dropped into this, this series midway through, which you really shouldn't do anyway, but I've dropped into the series cause I just clicked a random video and I, I like it, but now I'm spoiled and I don't want to watch the, the previous episodes, you know? So what I've decided to do is call episodes parts. Um, now this also benefits me just because it's like if I don't like a game or if a game stops being fun for me, such as for instance Windlands or Crashlands, um, I just kind of stopped those series because I wasn't having fun. Instead of of doing like a final episode or something, I can just be like it's it's just done. Um, granted, I still want to try and do you know the final episode because. I, I, I like closure. I'm sorry. Um, I know a lot of people also like closure, but <laughs> my point is is that I just want to try and change a few things and see how it does. If it doesn't work, again, we'll change it back. No big deal. But 
I figured for the month of July, let's try something different. Anyway, getting back to the games that I plan on playing, um, we have another one called Song of the Deep. Now, Song of the Deep um, is a Metroid-style game uh, made by Insomniac. Now, full disclosure, I do work for the publisher of the game, GameStop, and uh, they are not providing me a code or anything like that. No, no one's providing me a code. I am paying with it for my own, with my own money, so we don't have to worry about any any sort of problems when it comes to if I don't like the game, I can tell you guys I don't like the game. So there's that. Um, granted, I haven't played it yet, so I don't know if I'm not going to like the game or if I am going to like the game. From the stuff that I've seen and the stuff that I've heard, it looks to be at least a good game. Um, I'm Again, haven't played it, don't know. But I'm really excited to play it, and I can't wait to play it. Again, not sure if I want to do a series on that or a one-shot video. It probably would be easier just because of the whole disclosure thing um, if I did a one-shot video. But at the same time, I'm like, I really want to play a Metroid-style game again on the channel. The last one we did, I believe, was Dust and Elysian Tale. And that one we never really technically finished because it was way back when. Um, and I really want to bring back a Metroid-style game, because I love those games. They, those are, like, my favorite type of games to play. And so I'm just not sure if I want to bring it into a series. If I do, then that means I'm going to have to keep saying that, you know, full disclosure, I work for the publisher, yada, yada, yada. But I, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure. And, and at the end of the day, it's going to depend on if you guys want to see more of it. So if you do, then hey, cool, we'll figure something out. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a live stream and just be like, there you go. It's all all in one place. Um, but I mean, it's just going to depend. And then another game that I'm probably not ever going to get to Let's Play, even though I really want to really bad, is uh, Monster Hunter Generations. Now, I'm not the biggest Monster Hunter fan. I know my friends, uh, my very close friends, my, my family, you might say, um, they enjoy Monster Hunter. They love Monster Hunter. Um, they even tried to get me in on the, uh, the, the previous one, the, the one that's coming out, or the one that came out before Generations. Um, I don't remember what it was called, 4? Was that 4? I think uh, Generations is the fifth one, I don't know. Um, but unfortunately, it just, I, I never been able to click with it. Um, I've, I've tried very hard, and I, I, I do like the game, and I appreciate the game for what it is, but I've just never been able to get good, and I feel like... Uh, I'm not good enough to play with them, so I usually don't play it, and then I don't get good, and so it's like, it's a never-ending catch-22, um, where it's like, I feel like I'm holding them back, and it's like, I don't like that feeling, um, same with Dark Souls a little bit, but I'm still trying to play and still trying to learn and, and do, do, do good, the good, do the good, <laughs> um, but with Monster Hunter, it's a very different story just because that learning curve is like a sheer cliff. However, this time around, they actually implemented where you can play as the little cats. And I love those little cats. And so I, I was like, huh, you know, I could play as a little cat and be more of a support character instead of, you know, going out there and, and getting my butt killed. Because half the time, most most of the time, like, when, when we lost money and dies and stuff, it was usually my fault because I kept dying. Because I was either underleveled or I, I just wasn't good. Um, especially, like, when they started mounting... Uh, monsters, sometimes I'd accidentally hit them because I was in the middle of attacking, and I'm just, I get in that zone. I get in that, like, hack and slash zone where it's just like, I'm gonna just gonna keep hitting ya! I'm just gonna keep poking you with my stick, it's gonna be fine. And I, I just, uh, it's, it's never been something I've been good at. And so I think maybe this time around, if I play more of a support role, then I'll be able to, uh, you know, help them out better. Um, because the, the, uh, the cats aren't exactly meant to attack. Um, at least in this game, as far as I'm aware. Now, granted, again, I'm not the biggest Monster Hunter fan, so I'm I've not 100% researched everything. I'm just going off what I understand. Um, now, from what I understand, they're more of a support character, so they can uh, apply heals, they can carry more items, I believe. And so, for instance, one of my guys, they like to use the uh, the bow gun, I believe um, it's called. And uh, I can carry extra bullets and stuff. And I can carry um, tracker, what are they called? Pink, uh, paintballs, paintballs. I can carry paintballs with myself. And I can carry um, uh, healing items. And I can also apply healings. 
Um, and in a pinch, I can attack if needed. Um, so I could probably fend off maybe the, the smaller guys while the while they're trying to take over the big monster. So I, I am excited to play that. Unfortunately, I'm, because it's on the 3DS, I'm not going to be able to stream to play it on the channel. I wish I could, you know, afford a darn uh, capture unit for the, for it. But it's just like they're they're so darn expensive, especially if you if you don't bring your own, it's very expensive. And honestly, I'm not sure. Depending on how the NX goes, I'm just not sure if I'm going to be, you know, able to justify spending, what was it, like $500 for a, a capture unit and a 3DS when it's like, you know, if if the NX is a, a portable handheld and also a TV thing and also a cartridge thing, which we just don't know, but it's like, if, if that is the case, then it's like, I just spent $500 on an obsolete thing that I can then use my HDMI capture unit for, so, again, it's just a waiting game. And it's a really annoying waiting game. And then another game that I'm really excited for is I Am Setsuna. Now, I Am Setsuna is a Final Fantasy uh, Chrono Trigger style RPG. Now, I know what you're thinking, Magnus, what are you thinking? You shouldn't be playing them RPGs on the darn channel. That's silly talk. That's just, just no, no. They never do good, and you know it, and you're just, you're just gonna play it, and you're just gonna be like, I don't care what other people think, I'm just gonna keep playing this thing. And you're 100% right. <laughs> I am very excited to play I Am Setsuna just because I've I've been craving that that old school style RPG, um, especially Chrono Trigger, just because I, I enjoy Chrono Trigger. I, I love it. My first experience on it was unfortunately not on the SNES, but it was on the DS, which in my opinion is the best version um, of it. I, I have gone back and looked at the SNES version, and in my opinion, the DS version is just the, the best version to play if you're, you know, new and wanting to play it, and it's also the easiest to access. But, anyway, um, I Am Setsuna is, is, again, similar in that vein to an old-school RPG, an old-school Squaresoft RPG, if you will, and I absolutely love it. It looks great. The story is has has me because it appears to be this darkish story, and it just I, I love dark stories sometimes in my RPGs. I, I like a little I like a good sad story now and then, and uh, I, I just I want to play it. I want to play it so bad. I know it's probably not going to do good because RPGs are never something you do on a, on a Let's Play channel. They I mean, if you if you have the audience for them, that's one thing. But I don't have the audience for them. <laughs> I don't think. I'm not sure. I'm never sure what the heck I'm doing. I'm just doing it. But I am going to play it nonetheless, and, it, and I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be an enjoyable experience. Hopefully Square Enix doesn't, like, banhammer me into the ground, I'm, I'm hoping. But uh, I'm going to try it nonetheless and see what happens. And that's just about it for releases that I plan on playing this month, so... Um, granted, there will be surprises, you never know with me. I might just be like, hmm, this game, it looks cool. I'm gonna get it and play it for you guys. And plus, the Steam Summer Sale is technically still going. Um, I'm probably buying a whole bunch of things I shouldn't be buying, so, uh... Help! Someone send help! Some, someone please send, send some help. I'm, I'm desperately dying in credit card debt right now. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog, and I hope you uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, if you haven't checked out my channel yet, and you're just, like, dropping in to say hi, then hello! Hi, I'm Magnus. Nice to meet you. If you want to check out uh, more content by me, then you can uh, scroll on down if you're on the channel page. If you're not, then hey, guess what? You can go, to, like, to the right-hand side of that video player and be like, hey, I see all this video stuff that he's got right here. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch all of it. And then, hey, if you want to subscribe, then you can do that. If not, that's cool, too. Have fun. I mean, hey, you know what? If you come back anyway, that's that's good, too. I don't care. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a fantastic day. If you guys have any recommendations for games you want to see me play, then, hey, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll take a look at them and be like, cool, let's do it. Um, developers, if you happen to be watching this and are like, hey, this Magnus guy, he's pretty cool, he's pretty knowledgeable, I want to see more, I want to see him play my game, then hey, feel free to email me, I don't bite that much. But anyway, guys, I'm Ultramag64, remember, always shoot your fireworks into the sky, because if you shoot them in the ground, then someone's going to get hurt, and nobody wants that. And happy gaming. I'll catch you guys on the flip side, and here's to a new stream of content coming for the month of July. Which, hopefully, it won't be so hot and disgusting. It's gonna be hot and disgusting either way, isn't it? It's just, just how July is. Ugh.
Not looking forward to it. Perfect month for gaming, though. Bye bye